It was my hope that a center could be created that would have no predetermined structure. There would be an open invitation to all and through itself and through its activities create its own power, its own drive, its own dynamics. This is a very important thing here, and this is something I feel that's terribly important for everybody who plays. To train the ear, what are you listening for? What do you want to hear? Not what your hands make you do, but what will you tell your hands to do? This is one of the most common mistakes when you make a glissando. To go, to be afraid, you know, you're gonna make it. Excuse me. I might make it, no, I might not make it, no. <laughs> you go to the glissando. Go to it with a little f f crescendo. It's much easier, believe me, to go than... <laughs> it's always easier. And one of the things, that one gets frightened, one goes away. When you're frightened, that's the time to be sure. That's when you have to have chutzpah. <laughs> when you're scared. I'll play for you. You are really a born concert master. You, know <laughs> you want me to play for this you? This is a Gabor and a concert master. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to be in the, huh? You want me to play? Play? I'll play, play. for you. He's <laughs> Now, can, can you tell them about the chords? Huh? There's no such thing as just an orchestra player. You're either a musician or you're not. And playing in an orchestra can be just as exciting and just as involved and just as beautiful as playing anything else. And I have a secret for you. When you do, and suddenly one day you're all playing and you're playing bomb, and the piano goes, and the conductor's, and suddenly everything takes off and you're part of something very beautiful. That's when it's worth it. That's worth working for. This I know from Paris, I don't know. Bonjour, my pleasure, Lord. Ah! Ah! Now. Yeah, did again. The order of music puts order into understanding other orders. The necessary discipline of time and sound and of putting it together and understanding it and loving it somehow makes it possible to accept other disciplines better, more quickly. Now what you heard now is not a performance for professional life, but an act of music in work. Because this is what the place is for. 
the act of living and working together in order to maintain, to maintain ideals, to strengthen ideas, to exchange the art of making music. Indeed, one might say the art of living together. Because we as musicians have learned what it means to live together perhaps better than most people. If politics could only learn from us. These friends have come, some in uniform, some in dress, some late. <laughs> <laughs> but they have come to be together to make music for an occasion. An occasion for rejoicing in our way. The only way musicians rejoice is to make music. <coughs> when they're very happy, they make music. When they're very sad, they make more music. Whatever they do, they make music. And when they pray, they make music. Because everything that concerns us is in music. There is no thing that we can do, nor words that we can use, certainly no words that I can use, that can say more than the music we make. I feel that artists who care about art, who care about music, who care about society, have a responsibility to teach young people the usefulness of a search and the happiness of a personal discovery, that personal wonderment that happens when you yourself make the phrase and inside you open up and somebody listening goes, oh, that was beautiful. And when you've done that, the child is touched by the hand of God. And that's what music is about.